So here's what we're doing today. I have got this rather dated wig that I play with sometimes just to be funny. But I ain't natural blonde. I mean, I'm getting the white blonde, but I don't know that that counts. So I just got to thinking I could double my wardrobe size if I just colored it. Keep in mind, this is a scrunchy ponytail, not a legit hairpiece, so for what that's worth. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a combination of two colors using these Crayola Super Tip markers. And we'll start, start right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to see how it's showing up. So initially it's going to just show like a little bit of a highlight and uh, on the blonde, kind of like dyeing real hair, you've got to take your time with it. It's probably going to take a few rounds to really get it looking good. Now you can see already a transformation beginning to occur right here. I'm going to continue to do more of this. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it's, it's turning up a little bit light, a little light for my liking. So what we'll do is do a little bit of a modified ombre look. We'll add some black to the brown after we finish. And we're just gonna continue with the process. Gotta be real patient with this, it, it ain't ain't as easy as you think. Now you don't want this to look like your old aunt's hair or your estranged ex-wife's mother-in-law or anything like that. You want to make sure this looks looks real good. Now some of you might be wondering, well why don't you just go to the store and get yourself a box of hair dye and there might be some value in doing something like that, but this is all in the spirit of good fun and working on a budget with around the house sort of objects. I'm gonna make a little swap here, just tone the hair. I'm going to add some dark. See how that dark starts to show up on it. And I give it some darker undertones, especially there toward the roots. I'll show up better. The hair tends to really respond well with these dark colors, but you still got those brown undertones really gonna leave a good impression on anybody that's trying to inspect if it's your natural hair or not. You can start to see the progress happening here. This is definitely one of those things that takes a lot of patience and long suffering and uh, <coughs> explaining to anybody that's looking a little closer at the party you got going on top of your head. But I got a little secret up my sleeve that I think everybody's gonna like once this is all done. to 
the end result. There's no denying that at all. Slowly but surely making progress. Now some questions that people have are going to relate to how well this grabs on and how fetching a look it's going to be. ladies that sit on the back pew at your church are going to notice those little details. So, you got to be careful. Come along, you can see the progress here. We're going to up the ante a little and go Sharpie marker. See if it won't grab on even more. Or the Sharpie may linger with the hair a little bit, but there's a good chance it won't be quite as washable as the Crayola, which was one of the questions I'd gotten before when I did this project in the past. And it just diversifies your color palette a little, just like going over to the salon. Three or four different highlights and tones to your hair. You just get a little bit more mature look. Not, not quite so young and stupid. get under the surface level too because those right highlights are going to shine right on through. And if there's something satisfying to you about this whole process, you're not alone. biggest issue with it is just that getting people to accept the change. They've known you as a guy with blonde hair on top and dark on the side and now all of a sudden you're going to change it up on them. Just have dark hair everywhere on top of your bald head. pretty darn close to finished here. It's, it's definitely taking a darker look and with the gray in my beard we don't want to go so black that looks like the old man at the pawn shop that dyed his hair till his 88th birthday. I mean I, I knew that guy and everybody knew. You can only use shoe polish on your head for so long before people start to notice. Heck of a businessman, though. Wow, what a fun exercise. I hope you're enjoying the progress. I'm just finalizing the bangs a little bit. Let's pull this down just a hair. Lots of layers, lots and lots of layers, and those blonde roots are going to shine right on through, and that's okay. A little bit of blonde won't hurt nobody. But 
but down at the tip of them bangs, you gotta get that part right. That will be noticed. Some people can be rather unforgiving when it comes to, to hair. Wow, what a remarkable change. Now, by the time this is all said and done, if this is reminding you of someone you know, maybe you can pass on this tip to them too. There's another way that they can maintain their hair without breaking the, the bank. I mean, I had a relative said they went in for some kind of a tune-up and they said they spent well over $478 USD and that's just a little too much if you ask me. This probably about $4.78 so 20 minutes of your time so the choice is yours. I'm not quite re ready to demo this yet, but I am excited to continue to show the progress. <laughs> because if you can see my hair, oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking real good. I'm excited. Getting pretty darn close here, folks. it's not about getting it perfect it's about making it look human and for all we know these are hairs plucked right from a doll I don't really know I don't know what we're working with here government work I think honestly so prepare for the debut we're gonna take this to a whole new level just you wait after all our hard work together it just made sense that we'd say I'll do it one more time with this abstract art installed right on my head <laughs> 